I'm going to unmute myself. Yeah, I've done that already. I was limbering up there in the background. I was like, oh, I nobody, to, nobody gets to see the pre-show exercises that we that we normally do. Uh, Calis I, calisthenics we that we get to get started. <laughs> uh, um, don't, uh, don't, don't really do that. Good evening good to evening, you, Mark. Julian, South Africa, Johannesburg. Hello, world. Good evening, London. Should we go live on Instagram? Yeah, why not? Okay, give me one second. Going live in... I mean, I could go, we could go live on... Four. Oh, you're, right. you're live on Facebook. I'm going live on Instagram. Shall I, go live, sure shall I go live on my Facebook? I mean, the only thing that I'll... No, let's go live on YouTube. That's better. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Go. All righty. We're live on Instagram as well. I'm live. I'm live. Got, live on YouTube. Live on Instagram. Because we'll only get cancelled. We'll get just get cancelled, won't we, on, um, on Facebook? Oh, who knows? Facebook. Yeah. They make up their own minds, these people. I keep seeing oh, adverts right for Meta. All the time on the, I don't know, it's like YouTube things, probably adverts for Meta saying about how now in the future we won't have to meet in person, everything will be done in the metaverse and they'll teach surgeons no. how to cut hearts. And I don't know if I'm up but for the, that, but then the thing is, see, it says that I, I sort of understand that it's like virtual reality, teach you how to do stuff without hurting people. That sort of ready player sense. one. Have you watched Ready Player One? <laughs> Spielberg movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. I actually love that movie. To be perfectly honest, it's I thought, I thought it was great. pretty good. I saw it. I saw it being. Um, I saw it being dissed recently as a poor ah, Spielberg no, movie, man. but I thought it was, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I kind of understand that bit. But then they said, uh, and students will be able to go back to ancient Rome to experience Mark Antony debating in the chamber. I was like, but no, they won't. They might be able to see some actors doing that, but they won't actually be able to go back to it. That's not true. You can't go back. It's not time travel. It's no, fucking it's virtual not. reality. That's not the same thing at all. Yeah. Oh, God, it's only, what, three minutes in and already I'm swearing. Sorry about that, folks. Just want to make sure if our pre-watershed is... Is Instagram live? can't see how this got all... I don't oh, know. We we'd, we'd have to ask people That's on Instagram. True. By the way... Shout out to Heineken Zero. Have you got yeah, yours, you, Martin? Well, I've got I've got one here, but you got oh, you, you, but you've go. got proper you've got proper sponsorship, haven't you? I've just, I just I I'm, had to buy I'm my own. I think I get one. Can I go and get one quickly? Yeah, let well, me do that. Let me do that because you've got a large supply, have you not? Thanks, Heineken. If you want to do this in the UK too, I mean, you know, we're not officially sponsored by Heineken Zero. We just drink Heineken Zero. <laughs> we keep trying. Hobnobs, the other one. There we go. Big shout sponsored. out to Heineken Zero, Heineken proudly Zero. supporting Discover TV. Hold on a second, go. have you got a twist cap? No, I, I, I open with my, <laughs> my ring. <laughs> oh my God, you just, look at that, elevated cool from South Africa, <laughs> wicked, bloody hell, I've never seen anyone do that in my life, yeah. that was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing this All you need, that's what they call the rings of power. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen uh, that by the way, have you seen it? Ring of Power. Ring of pa Ring of I power. have. I yeah, have. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm still trying to decide. Do I like it? Don't I? I think we could have done it in four episodes instead of eight. So I'm, I'm going to put my, oh, I can't even put it there. Look at that. I can't, I've got no place to put it, Martin. Did you, yeah. did you get also tequila sponsorship or was that just yes, a... Did. Los Locos. <laughs> <laughs> just going for leverage. <laughs> That's a uh, leverage. Heineken Zero. But thank you very much to Jabu. Who, who uh, uh, proudly brought us Hannigan Zero as our new partner in Discover TV and Discover you, TV Heineken. Studios. So big shout out to Hannigan Zero in South Africa. Please go and support him. And guys, you know me. We, you ha if you've been watching the show for long enough, you will more than likely find, if you go back into all the different shows, you will find a Hannigan Zero somewhere in one of our shows, in, in more than one of our shows. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't a, a sponsorship model based on the fact that they gave us some and therefore we thought we'd better promote it. <laughs> We've been drinking no. Heineken Zero for about three years. A big shout out to Samuel Miller, who's watching us um, live as well on Instagram. Hey, Sam. Sam's got new music on. I need to find his new music. Where is he? Samuel Miller. I know he's got new music out. I've been seeing him post. Mm -da -doom. Sam, I know you got new music. Please send me a WhatsApp with your new music when you get it. Um, I know he's got new stuff coming out, and that boy is seriously, seriously talented. Um, so hopefully we can get some new stuff from Samuel. Um, that'll be very, very cool. There's some mad delay 
for Ryan. Yeah, oh, I'll just saw that check message. It out, Ryan. Just make sure you've not got YouTube running in the background or something, right? Yeah. As long as you're only on the Yeah. Kind of... Don't have YouTube running in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, uh, where was I now? I just lost my train of thought. Uh, Sam. He was uh, oh, Sam. really yep. music. Sam Miller, please. I know you got new music. Please get us. Please get in touch with us. I want to say big congratulations to these guys. Can't big see. Moon, who we have featured on the show before. We haven't had them on the show before, but um, the Big Moon released their them. new album, third album last week. Got to number nine in the charts on oh, release wow. last week. Brilliant. For, uh, I finally know, got my Madrugada vinyl, which came through. Nice. Very excited about that. Loving that album. <clears throat> Great, great new album. So yeah, um, lots of new music happening as well, and oh, yeah. um, and congratulations big... to Little Sims as well, who won the uh, Mercury Award yeah, last the Mercury week. Award. Highly deserved. Well done. Nice stuff. That fantastic stuff. Have you heard the new Arctic Monkeys? The album. Yeah, that's a. I think that's an hour long episode just discussing that album. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tune in for the next episode. I'm, I'm, I'm kind when we'll of. Do that. I'm 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 a bit lost on it. Mm. It's kind of like cheers, Mark. Cheers, everyone. <sighs> Nothing more refreshing than a Heineken Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make an ad for that. <laughs> I didn't realize they'd given you notes along. With that. No, they haven't. They haven't. Did you know me? Ta Taglines we've got <laughs> to include with every episode. No. <laughs> Big shout out to Reba from Garden Music as well, and um, Le Shabba, who's also watching. Um, oh, what a show! I gotta tell you. Um, you've seen, and I'm sure I've shown you the clip before of Max and Love, those blues, those two blues guys that we had on for Tales. Yeah. That one time, I'm sure I played the track on the show as well. They played a show live at the Radium Beer Hall on Saturday night, which we went and helped them out with some sound and filmed a little bit of it. Well, when I tell you, you know when you just sit in a show and you just like literally are captivated from the first opening chord to the last closing chord of a show without like there being a break even in between songs. And you're just sitting there and you're like, oh my God, this is incredible. And just absolutely blows your mind. Well, that's exactly what Saturday was for me with Max and Love. Um, guys, please um, support support local music as always. But go and check out Max and Love Wherever at any gig want. they're playing. It's M A Double X and Love. Um, please go and check out these guys. Um, we pitched an idea to them that um, literally. Oh, the newest stuff's already on Spotify. Says Sam Miller. Cool, Sam. I'll go and check it out. We might play it or something so. tonight. Um, Releasing very soon, much more. Yay. Excellent. Thank you, Sam. I look forward to that. Um, that I like, it was I like this real time music promotion. This is great. I know. This is, <laughs> this great. is what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I literally just sat there on Saturday night and I was like, I was just totally gobsmacked. So we pitched this idea to them. I can't tell you the idea yet because we're going to work on it. But they're very excited about the idea that we, we've pitched them and we're definitely going to do this. So watch out next year for um, some exciting stuff happening with Sam Love, with Max and Love. But go and watch this band. If they're playing anywhere near you in Johannesburg or wherever it is around South Africa, please go and watch Max and Love. They are a phenomenal band, um, incredible musicians and a great bunch of guys and just an artist that you definitely want to watch out for. Um, big shout out to Kerry Ann, who's now managing them and supporting the guys. Um, yeah, she, she definitely gets behind South African music. Splendid. So um, yeah, you just don't want to miss this, guys. Go and check them out. We might even play out with a bit of them tonight, maybe. But yeah, phenomenal band. Um, so yeah, they were this weekend. That we had Serotonin Thief at To Hells and Back on Sunday. Definitely a young man that knows how to get a party going. <laughs> he can literally take a place from being four or five people to like 30 people instantly and everybody's partying. It's like, hello, what happened? Where did they all come from? <laughs> He's like, and it was just a great vibe. So there was a great one there on Saturday, <coughs> on Sunday, Fantastic. sorry, for To Hells and Back. And um, what else we've got this week? We've got a couple of listening sessions happening. Um, obviously, this Sunday, um, there's obviously another to Hells and Back. I can't remember offhand. Jono did send me the poster. Um, this Sunday, I'll tell you who we've got um, to Hells and Back this Sunday. To Hells and we... Back, for anyone who is not aware of what we're talking yes. about, is a live stream show hosted by Discover TV. TV every... that takes place in Hell's Kitchen every Sunday. Every Sunday from Hell's Kitchen. 3 p.m. South African time, which is what time your time? Now it will be 1 p.m. As of next, as of this week, it will be 1 p.m. UK time. 1 p.m. Aha, there you go. There you go. So, yeah, that was a good one. Um, good evening, Helen, who's watching the show. Good evening, Hi, Helen. guys. Hi, Helen. Nice um, to yeah, have you so with us, as this always. This weekend, we have the Betsy's. The Betsy's beers. It just sounds like it's going to go wrong, doesn't Betsy's it? Beers. Okay. Yeah. That just sounds like it's going to go party. 
<laughs> They've got banjos in the band. Oh, no, that just sounds like it's going to just be nonstop party music on Sunday. Banjos. And Hell's Kitchen just come Anything and join us. with banjos is always a guaranteed good time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, either that or it's deliverance. One uh, or the other. That's it. That's it. Um, and what else exciting Which happening? I suppose it was a good time for some of those people. I mean, <laughs> distraction. Sorry. Distraction. <laughs> <laughs> And tomorrow night, if you're in Melville, it is that Funk Tuesdays, which takes place the last Tuesday of every single month with Sia from The Brother Moves On. Um, come on, head on down to Melville. You'll find Discover TV there for it's that great. Funk so Tuesdays. There's way more information than we normally share at the beginning of the show, which I feel I is know, a, just a cool. distraction from talking about sport. Yeah, no, I'm not going, <laughs> I'm not going there, Martin. Just forget it. No, no, we're not doing no, that. No, no, we're not doing that. We're not talking about happened. football or anything okay. like that. Not talking no. about any teams. I don't okay. know, I'll show you my new tattoo. Oh, uh, well, I, I saw this in progress the other day. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Pretty cool. There's my new tattoo. Memento Mori, right? Memento Mori. You know what that's from? I, I do know what that's, that's from, yes. Would you like to see? You made it sound very you made it sound very Italian rather than Latin. I know. Memento Mori. Well, it is. Isn't Latin Italian? Well, that's, I mean, well, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes, my brand new tattoo, obviously, um, another tribute to Depeche Mode on my skin in some kind of way, but obviously the, the map of Africa um, with its, uh, the roots of who we are as an African continent. But that's enough about me. <laughs> What's happening in your side of the world, Martin, before we get on to our guests? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll well, another just, Heineken just, Zero brought a, to you by Heineken by Zero. <laughs> is that is it though? Hashtag is it, is it Heineken though? Zero Zero. Uh, well, I said I'm, I'm I'm very pleased, uh, guys from the Big Mood. I think they're an awesome band, number nine on the chart last week. Well done to them. That's fantastic stuff. Um, I want to give a little shout out to my colleagues from Apollo Audio, especially Billy Hills and his band Drown, who have been on a little uh, tour recently. Played Cambridge Fiverr on Friday night, as I think it's sort of their fifth. Uh, gig in the last month or so uh, seems to be going down very very well uh nice. new tracks out from tom lumley and the brave liaison oh, nice. got some new stuff out at the moment and uh that seems to be going down very well uh also roxanne bastian still on tour with howard jones i think getting towards the end of that um, How's that going? Have you heard from her? Oh yeah, I mean, going down very well. All, all the responses that I've seen from everyone who've been to those uh, gigs. He's playing that three-piece trio version, huh? That she's That's right. Yeah, the Howard Jones trio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um, nah. I heard a bit of it. All been recently, but yeah, all the feedback has been. Um, he can really play, eh? Roxanne as a as a support act as well, which I think is uh, important and really supportive. Uh, great to see those. I mean, you know, did you see the stuff about Louis Tomlinson this week? No. Nope. Um, I don't know the, all the background, but basically, I think he's basically reached out and said he'd like some unknown independent artist to support him on his upcoming tour. Oh, brilliant. Um, which has got to be a good thing. I've seen some people kind of, you know, have a, have a diss about One Direction. And all oh, that. Helen but saw Howard and Roxanne last yeah, week. Yeah, Helen was there at St. Albans. Uh, oh, you know, man, I'm so jealous, Helen. I wish I'd been there. I mean, well, obviously, I'm, I'm a big fan of I'll tell you what, in Howard. a couple of weeks' time, I'm going to see Roxanne at St. Pancras Old Church in London, where she's recording a live version of... Oh, she's doing... She's recording a live album, basically, which will feature mainly songs from the most recent album, but also some other Brilliant. stuff as well. So Shout out to Roxanne. Be big down fan there in... Uh, big fan. I think it's only in a couple of weeks' time. Um, nice. So, yeah, all that stuff going on. Fantastic music around the... Lo as you said, support your local artists if you... Ha if you if, Always. Wherever you are. I was going to say if wherever you have you That's a stupid be. thing. Support your local artists wherever you are, and it's up to you what you consider local to be. Just support Absolutely. new music. And okay? next Actually, week... just support music. It doesn't even have to be new. Just support music. And next week, have we got a surprise? Yeah, man. Next week, for New Music Mondays, we will be crossing live to the Discover TV studios here in Johannesburg for a Halloween special with the one, the only, the brilliant, one of my favorite bands in South Africa, Blood Honey, perfectly performing named. the mean, Sinner's Ball. Named as well, right? Yeah. For, uh... Performing the Sinner's Ball <laughs> live stream from Discover TV studios next Monday at 7.30 p.m. South Africa time. That's 5.30 p.m. in the UK. You don't want to miss this. This is going to be... A show to remember. So I'm just to tell you, I'm excited. A, a head appeared behind you. <laughs> just a head. <laughs> There's a head. Just, There's yeah, a just head. like a floating. As you're talking you about Halloween, a floating head come. behind you. <laughs> Dee's bringing me my dinner. <laughs> uh, you can bring it, Dee. I can bring it. <laughs> She's hiding floating. behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> just see the head just appeared. Like, just as uh, I say, blood honey. There's a head behind the curtain going. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, massive. That's going to be good. That, we'll look forward to that. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. So now for next week, so we we will be on live on uh, air in the UK one hour earlier next week. Yes. Um, for that, that particular idea. event, we'll start at five in the UK next week, and we will cross to South. Well, we'll be with you in South Africa, but we'll go live to the. Uh, the Discover TV studios for Blood Honey from 5.30 UK time next week. I end up getting my food to the window. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in a drive through right. And I will have two McDonald's, <laughs> cheeseburgers, and a Heineken Zero to go with it, please. Do you, um, do you know that there's a website where you can track, which <laughs> it, it keeps an, uh, an up-to-date log of which McDonald's ice cream machines are working? No. Uh, I mean, they, there's a website for everything, right? Okay. <laughs> no matter what. Okay, here's, and right. just quickly, before we head on to our first guest, <laughs> next Saturday, Discover TV will be at the Park Live um, Festival taking place in Johannesburg, with, which is featuring Prime Circle, Just Ginger, Jeremy Loops, uh, Ho- Amistad from um, Australia, who I know you Amistad. guys have had in the... Yeah, they're playing yeah. next week. Fantastic. So we will be having the Discover TV stage, which will be the second stage at the festival, taking place next Saturday in Johannesburg. Live, we will be there. Ross Harding Band, The Cooligans. Awesome. Um, we've got some amazing young talent that are going to be featured on the Amistad Discover TV originally stage. originally from the Czech Republic, you know. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, they're they performing moved, they moved that in from Czech South Republic Africa. to uh, next week. to Australia. That's brilliant. Wow. Yeah, they're a great band. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. So you don't want to miss that. Jeremy Loops live. Yes, brand new album, Helen. He's got coming out. And we're very excited to have to be there with Jeremy. I'll be interviewing the artists as well, chatting to them, and that'll all be coming up on our shows going forward. But should we get to our first guest? Because that's I think what we should have been waiting about. there for ages. It's going, yeah, I, was, I thought going. I was supposed to be on this show, this and show. all I've heard is you guys chatting. Babbling, 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 <laughs> babbling. Here we go. Oh, good. Oh, I've gone off centre. Right? Oh, no. It's, oh, there we go. Wait, so I, didn't, I thought, did I do that? Good evening and welcome to New Music Mondays. Abelis. Hello. Sounds like the police are in the background. Commencing lineup. There we go. Oh, it sounds like the purge. <laughs> the was purge has begun. Guys, Lock your doors. Something going on in the background in South Africa. Right? <laughs> oh, God. Purge. It's a very, it's very random purge. show this evening. Ryan, Sorry, Ryan hello. Welcome. How are hello. you? Hello. Yeah, I'm doing good. good evening, How are you guys doing? Well, as you can Welcome tell, to the we're, show. We're, a, we're a bit giddy, it would appear tonight. I don't know what's going on. It's been a bit random the start of the show tonight. It's all that alcohol-free beer you've been consuming. That's what it is. Yeah, pump. that's exactly what it is. That's what it is. But we're very just excited to have you with us. Because no, yes, very. We were just say we had a very brief chat before we came on air. We didn't quite manage to connect with you. We were due to have you on the show about 18 months ago, but you didn't quite make it due to our... Uh, puncture incident so <laughs> yeah that's right i was driving back from luton to biggleswade with my girlfriends at a car puncture not very exciting you were just, not, we, not a great that... anecdote as to why i couldn't make it onto the radio guys, but <laughs> well just that we is, remembered because you were you were going to join us uh, along with uh, mel quinn who you'd worked with on a on a track uh, yeah good last, old mel quinn she last. stepped up and did the interview with you guys solo I listened to her back. She did a great, great job, I think. Anyway, nice to have you back. You're basically flying under your own steam this time round. Um, but actually, that's not really true, is it? This is quite a collabor- co- collaboration as well. Tell us what's going on with you, Ryan. Uh, so, Habilis is, or Habilis, I don't know. Different people pronounce it differently. I don't know what how it's supposed to be pronounced, but... Well, it's your you name. Go. You get to choose. That's, my, that's, my, that's what I'm going to say. It's a collective of musicians, mostly based around the hometown that we're from, Biggleswade. So a lot of them are my neighbors. So uh, over the road is a younger lad called Ross, who I've been making music with for a long time now. And then about a year ago, I met another chap that lives down the street called Gavin, who's a great singer. And then we've got uh, around the corner from him, there's another guy called Dan, great guitar player. So it's a, it's a real like hub of musicians. Uh, it's just mostly in and around Biggleswade, but there's a few a little bit further down the road. Where is Biggleswade? It sounds like it should be in a Harry Potter book. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, we, we kind of play on that whenever I write the bio for the band. It's like we're all from Biggleswade and we're as weird as the name is. 
or as boring as the name is, whatever's more or less appealing. As, uh, as, After as a couple of Heineken zeros, past, it'll be entertaining. <laughs> as we've discovered in the past, what's always helpful for people like Julian is you, you place it by football teams. So like you said, you're, yes. quite, near, you're quite near Luton. Ah, yeah, okay, sure. you are. like about 45 minute drive from Luton, you know, Which 20 minutes, North, uh, London 30 is, minutes on the I'm train right. from London. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I know Watford, Luton. See, I got my football teams. I don't know. I don't know the UK other than my football teams. Uh, Bedford. Bedford have got. Bedford. Like, Bedford. Shout out to the guys that I work with. Um, Beef and Daddy Dino, who support Bedford, Bedford oh, Town. Fantastic. So, Biggles Wade's in Bedfordshire. Bedfordshire. Yep. Ah, there we go. Cool. Yeah. Awesome, excellent stuff. So we, we've we've said quite a lot on the show. It's quite cool that you get you, like talking about collaborations and networks of uh, of musicians. But like I said, this is kind of the way you've expressed it. Kind of yeah, not a, the guy down the road and the person around the corner and uh, all that kind of stuff. It's fantastic that you can find a community of uh, like minded musicians almost outside your front door. That's it. Yeah, I mean, um, me and Ross were standing outside the studio, which is basically a glorified shed at the bottom of my garden it used to be a shack and then we built inside it and outside it and we were standing out there one day and you could hear piano being played and that was two houses long and I spoke to the lady that lives there I was like who's playing piano is that you and she was like no it's my brother I was like get him out here now I want to meet him <laughs> and then yeah we've been making music since then so for about three or four months a great guy called Paddy very creative and you don't know who's on your doorstep so yeah, no. yeah that's that's one thing that i've been exploring is who's who's very local to where you are because previously that seems to be what falls down when you collaborate or when you're in a band is distance between one yeah, another absolutely. yeah traveling towards band practice you know that being in a band can be quite a hard tough tough thing like logistically and on your time so if you all live really close to one another and you've got somewhere that you can do it all in for free that doesn't cost any money that that's taking like some of the big aspects of what can make being in a band a bit of a grind it's getting rid of those and just making it easier more fluid yeah and you've Actually. you've you've made the right choice by making sure that they come to you as well, which I like saying. Yeah, yeah. So I just have to like <laughs> go wrong with that. roly go poly go wrong with that. bottom of the garden down to the bottom of the garden. That's it. So this is so you are collectively known as the Sloth Collective, is that right? So the studio is called the Sloth Collective. Yeah, mm. that that name came from a friend of mine who who basically named it because um, it took so long to build because I kept stopping and starting, and it's very sloth sloth like i'm a sloth like person <laughs> as well moving and speaking slowly so and the studio took moved and took a long time to build so it seemed like a good name for it and yeah that's where all of habilis stuff kind of comes out of and other bits and pieces from various different people like like you guys were saying that's where me and mel worked on the track that we did together cool and plenty of other people are like doing bits and pieces in there at the moment as well which is pretty cool pretty cool pretty exciting to give that facility to other people to to use nice tell us about the new track algorithms algorithms so it started off just as a loose jam between myself and one of the guitarists on the track called tom uh, built up from the ground just bass and guitar and i think i was aware of the algorithms and the bits and pieces oh, if i'm going into the lyrics now and the, the themes i was aware of it before but then watching a documentary on netflix called the social dilemma which i'm sure lots of people around the world yep. have probably seen by this point yep. uh, really like hammered at home and had even more like uh, revelations about how divisive social media can be used and can like have a real hold over us and influence so many different things in our lives like who we're voting for you know everything a lot like, of that at the moment yeah expressing <laughs> opinions and you know something as simple as like trying to sell something to us to yeah. then you know creating this whole culture about how different groups end up hating one another or we're becoming mm. more and more extreme 
So that's how that came about. The the lyrical okay. content. Yeah, myself and Gavin and Ross sort of hashed out the lyrics. Had a lot of fun writing them as well, just sort of standing up and shouting at one another, seeing what works, what doesn't. Yeah, very very pleased with how it came out, like and and how much fun it was along the way. It took quite a long time, like all of these tracks at Habilis sort of or comes out Habilis there. They're all slow moving and fester for a long time. That was probably one of the quickest ones we've actually done. But yeah, a lot of them like sort of uh, going moldy in the garden for years before they <laughs> they emerge or never emerge. They probably just turn into compost. Think, mate, you, a lot of maybe them. you could talk about them maturing rather than festering. Yeah. I mean, I'm just, yeah. I'm just maturing is probably a, bit, yeah. a different. <laughs> I think festering's uh, <laughs> definitely appropriate for algorithms. It's quite a, a creepy. It's definitely some creepy vibes going on in there. It, well, think, let's uh, check it out yeah yeah we, it's, like i said it's got a great oh, vibe. it's got a great sense of humor as well as you said really comes across in the uh, in the performance and the lyrics as well so let's check it out here it is habilis with algorithms let us know what you think Told us so. Yeah. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it's a very classic rock sound. Love it. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the feedback, guys. It's good. Yeah. 
Really, love really it. cool. Great vibe. Yeah, I love the, I love the line as well. Kind of ironic, right, to um, put out a song that you want people to listen to with lyrics in kind of criticizing YouTube culture and behavior because obviously I want people to like our Facebook page and subscribe to all the stuff that, that we do so they can find out more about it. But becoming part of the thing that we're criticizing, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Being yeah, absorbed yeah. into it. <laughs> we're all absorbed into it. That's why we're here right now. Well, yeah, because we're good. live on YouTube. We're, we're it's good to be YouTube. absorbed. Yeah, become yeah, part of it. Me. <laughs> but I feel this is. Where should we go? There we go. Let's do that one. Subscribe <laughs> to our channel. Hit the bell to be notified every time we schedule a new show. Ladies and gentlemen, right, and right now. Like some background music to go with that. <laughs> but that's that's how it goes. We'll uh, it's a, a fantastic show. I guess what what I really want to know is who is in the suit. Oh, who's in the suit? We we hired that person from a. <laughs> A local dance troupe found through various connections to do with local swingers clubs. Did swingers is that a term known in South Africa? Oh yes, know. hopefully. Very oh, well good. known. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't know who's in the suit. They never revealed their face. We can't say. We'll <laughs> keep that a secret. As long as no one analyzes any any. I audio love the idea that you did that. That would be like reaching out to someone. And said, so what we want you to do is. <laughs> ah, it's all about local collaborations, you know. Absolutely. Definitely. I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd also imagining that someone would go, "Yeah, I'm up for that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Let's do it." That's <laughs> yeah, brilliant stuff. Um, so obviously not not the first uh, stuff from Habilis, but what's uh, what's upcoming as well? Is it, it you you said it's slow moving, but does that mean we're going to have to wait ages for new, or what happens now? No, no, we actually Fish got our foot pushed down on the gas quite a lot. Like um, myself and Paddy have been working together on a lot of songs, and we we recently did our first ever live performance, which was like a, a big step, and a lot of the songs that we played with. You know, we spent probably 20 minutes rehearsing like each song. So that was slapdash. And it was just, it was basically for a house party here in my living room, which um, was pretty mad to have like a huge PA system set up in here. Fortunately, the neighbors were very cool. So um, that gave us like a lot of enthusiasm. It was like, oh, like everyone that was there responded really well to the song. So I think everyone got like a big boost out of it. The next song will be. I kind of um again it started off as a jam between me and tom and has evolved since then uh horns got put into it violins and it sounds like it wants to be in a rocky movie so we rolled with that for the lyrics uh once once the horns were added on there was no escaping there was no going the back. fact that it sounded like a imitation okay. ripoff rocky song so we just leaned into that and the lyrics uh, came from inspiration from watching mixed martial arts and the way that the coaches uh, encourage their fighters and the mentalities behind that and basically any any like strong athletic sort of conditioning that any of these top athletes go through i've got nothing but admiration for people who are you know really working hard to get their body to top performance and all that sort of stuff so song's going to be called rise or fall like i said imitation rocky tune but uh a friend of mine called will street he added some some amazing violin to it that that we did together in the studio and it kind of sucked a bit of the cheese out of it and put in (laughs) a bit more emotion and depth so all credit to him Awesome. But yeah, again, uh, that was that was really good, like wholesome collaboration, working on the lyrics with Tom and Gavin and just hashing it out and mashing the song until it sounded good and everyone adding their parts in. It's a, it's a real fun project, all the Habilis stuff. It's just everyone yeah. contributing little bits and pieces and yeah, we're doing, doing and is music Ricky the local is, well. is Ricky the local boxer going to be in the music video running down uh, the street? We, <laughs> no, we've got... Um, we're doing a music video and we're kind of again leaning into the, the rocky vibes of it being like a training montage 
Nice. There you go. Ricky. Uh, not Rocky, Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky. Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, Gavin, the singer, in the role of uh, the Rocky. Is it Ricky? Uh, the coach. No, it's Rocky. Mickey. 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 Yeah. Mickey. Right. Ricky, Mickey, right. Rocky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Gavin's taken on that role. He's got like the big manky gray hoodie. and. Who's yeah. playing Rocky? Uh, well, it's, it sort of ended up being me, even though I'm, I'm far go. from an athlete. But I took on that role. Um, it's not boxing. It's training for a, a firefighter challenge. It's training for like a, a little competition that we have here in the UK, which is open to international uh, firefighters. So I was doing that anyway. And I thought, why not capture awesome. the, the training for the, the progression towards doing that challenge? Cool, you know? cool. Awesome. awesome. Definitely not stuff. making myself out to be an elite athlete. No, no claims to that because there are people that did that challenge that absolutely annihilated me. But I did it nonetheless just to uh, – it was good motivation doing that and the music video. So that will be the next song out. And then, yeah, we should have more songs coming out in stages after that. Just keep chipping away and, and finishing these songs off. Fantastic. Awesome stuff. Look forward to that. Where do where do you send people if they want to keep in touch with what you're up How to? How do they subscribe and ring the bells? That's right. Uh, Where's the best one? Uh, yeah, the one? On Facebook and YouTube under Habilis Music. And uh, we've got Instagram. So, yeah, it's Habilis Music on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I think we've got all the things. Um, awesome. but we're not very good at doing all the things consistently. I think okay. Instagram and Facebook are the ones that we're trying to... All right trying to but be a bit better at if you look up habilis music you'll find the right you'll find something that you want to, yeah. to uh, connect with that's because there, yeah. there's not there's not loads of those you won't get lost it's, it's on like spotify habilis. as well so if you look at habilis you on spotify you'll find it there excellent awesome stuff. stuff love it Thank great you, track uh, thanks well guys done. look forward to hearing more good to see you here yeah, those collaborations as well love that networking of uh, people coming together that's uh, that's fantastic love to, Brilliant. Love to hear those cheers stories. guys Awesome stuff. Take care. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, hopefully, we'll have Cheers, you man. back. Don't do, you have to yep. wait eighteen months to come back? On come back soon. No. <laughs> I'll come back as whenever you have me. You know, we awesome. will have you anytime. Whenever you, whenever you want to tell us about something you're up to, whatever that is, you come back. Let us know. Thanks, Thank guys. You, Ryan. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Ryan. Bye. Take care, man. Cheers. Bye, bye. Bye. And there we go. I just did, I, laughing I've, at mine. Because I've, I've done a stupid thing where I've... Uh, do you use a Mac? Oh, yes, I'm on I've, Mac. I've, I've done the stupid thing where I've set... Somebody recommended that I should set up hot corners because it makes uh, life easier. No, to it's a nightmare because then every oh, time you do something, it's like... I was, that's exactly what just that happened. That's why I'm laughing. I just moved my mouse on the screen and everything just went... Woof. I was like, yeah, no, I don't know. What the heck? Where's it's it all the first gone? thing I switched off. <laughs> It yeah. drives me like, mad hot Somebody corners, said no. it would be useful and I've regretted it ever since I yeah, did it. So, uh, switch it off. Switch it off. Switch off no. hot corners. Not worth it. <laughs> That's why I was laughing. <laughs> All righty. Should we move on to our got... next guest? Oh, my God. Uh, yes. Let's Great do that. Shame. He's waiting patiently behind, behind the closed door. <laughs> Good evening, David. Good How evening. You? you got me oh. laughing already, you two. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That's why we're here. Good, good evening thing. and welcome to you. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. Thanks for having me already. It's a, an absolute an absolute pleasure. I'm Where are you in the world, David? I'm just, I'm just going to go switch my phone off. Let me say. Okay. No stress. <laughs> Hello, Martin. I thought I had everything ready and it's just like, don't have the phone ringing when you're on the thing. That would be fine. We'll just invite them on. That's, it. that's how <laughs> Yeah, that's what we do. That's Somebody how calls how us works. online, we just bring them into the show. It's <laughs> off. I think I've remembered everything. Um, do that. Oh, not, not now, Mum. <laughs> I'm trying to take tea. I'm on tea. You never know, do you? So, where are you in the world, David? In Baldock in Hertfordshire. But so not that for we just had uh, Ryan on from Biggles Wade, which is not a million miles away from Baldock, oh, is it? Not far. Yeah. So we're all very local to well, apart from Julian, oh, of course, except, in except South for Africa. me. We're all, we're, we're all quite, <laughs> I'm on the other all, side of the world. <laughs> we're all quite local to each other. 
But there's not a Baldock accent, I don't think. Where where are you from originally? Um, it's a bit of everything. Well, originally it was Glasgow. Uh -huh. Quite a few years ago now, and then I'm. Um, was brought up from six in East Lancashire, which uh -huh. is a very strong accent. Um, and then I was in London for 20 years, so it's sort of a bit of a mismatch, I think. That's the right a word. A bit of a mismatch. I feel like there's definitely, Mism I think you've, you've retained more of the Lancashire, I think. Yeah. I feel like I want to say. Yeah. I feel like uh, Julian's very tempted to go into a Jon Snow and put, or you. <laughs> Game of Thrones impersonation right now. I don't know, Jan Snow. Ah, see, I knew he wanted to. I knew he wanted to. You know what's weird is that, like, when you go back to Scotland, you start talking different again. You're just like, where's that come from? And it's like this voice comes out and you're just like, what's that? What's going on there? But it's, um, oh, God, the heat was coming out. Uh, there's nothing to switch off. There's nothing left to switch off. I'm charging my laptop. Everything's switched off. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Welcome it's to a... New Music Mondays, where <laughs> anything else. can happen don't, don't worry. and probably if it, will. If it wasn't, if it wasn't you with something going off, it would be us. <laughs> without, without, um, without my printer was going off just now. <laughs> well, I know what you mean. Zero I have is not thing. going off. I know what you mean. I think I, I think I still have a retained a bit of a Scottish accent, but I've, I've lived down in uh, near London for a long time, so I know that if I speak to anyone who is from Scotland, for my friends and family who still live up there. They think I sound weird, even though to sort of people around here I still sound Scottish. But of course, to the people in Scotland, I don't anymore. I can hear it now. Now you mention it. Yeah, I've got I, I I've got the professional broadcast Scottish accent <laughs> version. I've got a professional. Definitely the Ronnie Dunno. Corbett end of the Scottish. <laughs> what do I sound like? Canadian people hear it. Yeah. Like if you ever hear just Canadian people, they'll they'll say. Where else in Scotland are you from? And you're like, how do you know? Well, you can hear it in your voice. <laughs> do people ever found that? that people from different parts of the world get it? And... Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll hear it more. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, it's a pleasure to have you on this show. Now, um, Helen, who is who is in the background with us there, I think, uh, is presumably still there, I don't know. Um, but as Helen that uh, um, introduced you to me and me to you, um and said it's quite it's quite a story that you've got to tell as a musician you you have been a musician for much of your life but there's um there's something to to there's quite a story to tell that's quite busy what i'm trying to say can you can you fill us in on some of the details <laughs> well, i forgot getting, a lot about sorry, it one moment just, and, and if i can just hold on one moment why are we getting spammed with I hot girls we're we getting spammed <laughs> I'm trying to block them, right? And they just keep some. We're getting spammed by some bot. Tonight, tonight we're getting we hot girls. This has never yeah. happened before, but we're getting spammed with hot girls adverts. And I so can't I just block I just them. noticed that coming up on the comment stream. So uh, oh, it, yeah, immediately okay. followed by Helen coming back on again. But I don't think the two things are connected. Um, sorry, David. That's Apologize okay. for, for that. Yes, do t <laughs> tell us. Helen is this... watching the show. Yes, Helen. Helen is there. Yes, she's she's there. She's. I'll there. be careful on this then. She's all tuned in. No, you say what you want. I'll deal with Helen if we get into trouble. Don't worry. <laughs> trying to see who's botting us. So tell, tell us. Tell us the story. Otherwise, we will never get there. We might have to mute ourselves. Tell us your background. <laughs> well, it's interesting because I've been, I had a, a brain injury. That's what caused it all. And um, I've been at a session this afternoon with the doctors trying to work it out. And the place, I've been, if they could see me now, they'd be like, what are you doing laughing? That's not the space you are in an hour ago because we were trying to work out what's going on with the brain. Yeah. Um, so I feel like I've gone put a new outfit on. I'm watching myself in the stream like, who's that laughing? Because, but it's to do with the brain injury. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty intense. And it affects pretty much everything. Yeah, because um, it, it, it's like you said, it's it's an ongoing effect, obviously. But the main the main thing is you had a a, a large, uh, basically you 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 had a complete memory loss. Is that is that right? Is that wow? The best way to put it is like yeah. a kind of had no recollection of a of a previous life almost. Of That's all pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. And then sense. that, and then that process in that process of kind of figuring it out okay, I've lost my memory and I don't really know. I mean, that must be, I can't even, I don't think many of us can even imagine what that must be like to have a, to no. have no sense of your own identity at all, which must yeah. be incredibly um, weird. 
in the process yeah. of trying to recapture all some of that, you've discovered that you had a, a, a life as a songwriter. Yeah. Yeah, that was all quite intense as well. I'm still trying to work it out. Everyone is mm. Dr. Valerie would not be. Um, weird's a word that's come up over the last two, three days a couple of times. It kind of sums up a lot of it. Um, but yeah, there's this, uh, this. I think my sister was helping me because she was with me all the time. So she was there when I was in a coma and everything. And mm. When I came around again, she was helping me explain what had happened. Um, which was, you know, I was reading these notes going, really, that? And then, yeah, and the music, it came back one morning, this song, and it was just, I had to write all this down. And there's this gradual realisation of just like, I wrote that song, that's bonkers. And I wrote the words out on this little, little bedside unit in hospital. I've still got those words. And then, um, The other song that we just recorded was called Santa Monica. That was Mum Rang. Yeah. I remember these moments, but Mum rang and she said, do you remember being in America last year? And I was thought she was winding me up. It was just like, mm. into America. And she said, you were, you were in California, you were in Texas. And I was just like, what are you talking about? Mum, what are you doing? And then this song came back a couple of mornings later and did the same thing, started writing the notes. And it's just like, look at it. He wrote songs. And when I came out of hospital, I found all the demos and it's just like, wow, he really did. Mm. So that's, yeah, that's kind of it. It's yeah, amazing how music has that power. And I think that, that definitely is something. And there was a movie recently as well. Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. Literally that kind of vibe in terms of this guy who was in a coma and literally started just writing songs. And that that's... Wow. Kind of how he he got his memory back. I'm trying to remember what the movie was, and I, that's giving me goosebumps. I want to know about that film. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to remember what it was now. Oh man, I'll let Martin know if I can remember it. He'll share yeah. it with you. I just come, come back right now, but it'll yeah. come back to us. So, uh, so then the the process of like I said that sort of, and I said none none of us can really understand what that must must be like unless you're kind of actually going through it to have that sense of. That oh, like you said, the, these experiences, these recollections that you're having, are not just like I guess what most of us would perceive as, oh, I've remembered something. It's like it's not just a recall thing. It's like that feels like it's not me, that absolutely that had those experiences as well. So although it's kind of okay, I I I'm now sort of having to acknowledge that this did happen, but it's only because of the evidence that it happened, not because you actually remember it. Is that the right yeah. way of expressing it? Yeah. yeah. Um. And it's like with the songs, I, I've written about, I remember the stories to the songs. So I read the words and it's like, yeah, I can see, I know the story and I know where it took place. Um, and I'm, I'm really pleased about that. So you could ask me any of the songs, say, what's it about? Or who's that person you're talking about? But if you said, what was it? Like, when did it come to you? I know where it came. And I can mm. picture the instruments mm. it was done on, but like, look, I've got the notes in there. I've got a book in there with the notes where the songs were written, and I'll read it, and you can see the way this brain was working it out. You know, with the words, and they crossed it out. And I'll look at it and be like, what were you thinking? Like, what was going, how did that all happen? So wow. it's kind of surreal. It's like, it's like there's two different, a life then, and you know he lived in this body, mm. but you kind of like, what were you thinking? Like, where did he? So, but you can hear my voice. I'm still trying to work it out. Yeah. Oh yeah, mate. No, it's, it's incredible. I think my, you know, not not the wow. same thing at all. But my uh, my mum's just ha ha recently had a, a stroke, and uh, one of the things that it brings to your attention is how much we don't understand how how our brains work. Um, no, and even just thinking about that, I've, I've, in fact, I was just listening to a podcast earlier on today and they were talking about the process of creativity. Um, he was actually, a, he's a joke writer, a script writer and a joke writer, but he was saying that even that, so you look back at things that you've, that you've done and it does to a to degree, and I think we've talked about this in terms of music in the past as well, that some of it just feels like magic. It's like, wh where did this come from? And I'm, 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 I do have a sort of, 
real sort of belief that there is some of that creativity is sort of magical and it's it doesn't live in this sort of logical domain it doesn't live in the sort of no. necessarily in the understandable way but of course we're always searching to try and make meaning out of things um it makes so yeah, a lot of sense what you're saying no not mm -hmm. sense but i think there's a lot of truth in it it's mm. it was john lennon wasn't he said you just reach up and you pick them yeah. like they're around here all the time um it's like it's there you know is that what you've kind of saying it's yeah, like I, I think so. and, I, and i've heard it expressed as uh one, one so i've heard it expressed before as uh that we don't have dreams but dream we don't have dreams dreams have us i've heard yeah. that I've heard it expressed that way as well. Like the idea, the ideas and the dreams are just looking for someone to have them, and they're they're all out there already. Um, and that sort of idea, I think, I think is uh, another book, sort of big big magic that says, you know, you don't have to chase the uh, the creative idea because it will find its right or it will find its right expression. It will just keep looking for the right place to to come out. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so sure. we don't have to chase things around. Can I but share something I think, with you? It's going to sound like, well, it, it won't. If it, well, if it sounds mad, then it sounds mad. But it's just triggered what you just said. Is that? Am I really going to say this in public? Go on, then. It's not swearing. No, it's like, it doesn't matter. Go for it, mate. No, I don't like swearing. But like praying is a big part of my life because it has it just has been just like mm. um, the spiritual connection. Um, since all this happened on last night yeah this is a, i'm going to i'm going to share it because it's what yours is saying i said in my prayers i asked please don't send me any more songs god because i don't think i'm doing them justice mm -hmm. i'm not sure i can handle anymore i'm having enough trouble recording things so i think i'm not the best person to receive them anymore i'll do my best with these that i've got and that kind of reminded what you just said then it's just like mm. I think there are better people to, to, to do them now from now on, but I'll do my best with these that I've got. And that just reminded me what you just said then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Stan and T was saying um, was the film yesterday. Yesterday is also a great one in terms of something like that, where Beatles, yeah. um, he's he's that guy who remembers. He's the only person on earth who wakes up one morning remembering songs written by the Beatles. Nobody else knows them. Wow, you're um, <laughs> have you seen yesterday? It's a great film to watch actually, and. Um, it's this alternative reality where he is he is the only person who remembers the songs by the Beatles and he starts singing them, becomes like this world famous singer songwriter because nobody else knows the songs by the Beatles except for him in this in this world. And it's uh, that that was one of them, but it's another movie I'm still trying to think of. But yeah, the Beatles is that yesterday is a great example of, of exactly what we're talking about. It's an, another great movie as well. Um, but let's let's yeah. yeah. But let's go and check out the video because I think um, maybe that's yeah. Let's a have good, a listen. This is the song Santa Monica. Monica. Uh, we've got the video for that, which I think has not been seen anywhere else either. Is that right, David? Hasn't this been premiered a, anywhere. This is its first it's public, first time um, it's ever been seen. Showing. Uh, this awesome. is the song Santa Monica, which, as you said, was a sort of a, a memory of a of a trip that you took to the to the states, and it's basically kind of you know what you remember come back to you as in the memory in memory as a song yeah, so um song. or yeah. a, a song that you'd previously written the the, the memory yeah. of the song came back didn't it yeah so yeah. Well, fantastic it let's have it let's check David this one out here we go the first time this is cool <laughs> on third street promenade cowboy songs and a slide guitar stars and stripes the blowing in the wind sings every night the god of stoic the to me all that's heroic maybe this is all he could have been A shopping cart, a racking government's her art. Rebel words, perhaps, without a cause. Her podium, it's the streets downtown. The congregation, it sees a clown. 
painted smile reflects their lives on pause There's so much more that we can be Life is trying to help us see What hides What hides inside Santa Monica trees on wall Stories that are made of gold Left on the shelf untold Until now, until now Santa Monica Pacific Palisades, yeah. Stepping through the ocean wave, Coast Guard watching, warning seas. Take care. Diving too deep, you get swept away. You gotta lift to fly another day. Courage means sometimes refuse the dare. There's so much more that we can be Life is trying to help us see What hides What hides inside Santa Monica trees on hold Stories that are made of gold Left on a shelf untold Until now Until now Santa Monica How's that for a storm in the background? <laughs> that, was, that was a storm, wow. Wow, and, and, and the line that stands out for me there, David, is um, left on a shelf until now, untold until now. Um, I think that kind of says it all, doesn't it? Thanks, God. That's really quite emotional just to see it for the first time. Thank you so much. That's Beautiful, and to, to hear your story as well that goes along with that. Um, guys, if, you, if you're just joining the show now, please go back and listen to the interview with David before this, um, of the song Santa Monica. Um, brilliant and just very touching and yeah, and yeah, very powerful, David. Um, I mean, to, to go through what you went through and, and to bring those lyrics to life now after everything of being in the coma, et cetera, is, and is, is incredible. And I, I think you've just, the song does it justice in every possible way. And it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful moment, a beautiful moment in time as well to be able to to hear that and to hear your story, and um, yeah, beautiful song. Well done. I Absolutely remember well this. Done. The memories go, but I should remember this for. I'm sure of that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not this moment. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the story with us, and thank you for sharing the song with us. It means a lot to us, um, you know. And and uh, yeah. Yeah. And good luck. I mean, good luck. I know it's a long process. Uh, I know it's a process of rehabilitation, so I don't want to wish you a yeah. long period. I know it's a process of rehabilitation uh, and it is one of those sort of unknowns. Um, it's terrific to speak to you, see you doing so well and hear, hear, hear you um, speak so eloquently about what you're going through as well. Thank you for being so honest and sharing everything as well, because that's um, a fantastic thing to hear. And thank you for giving us, un, un, you know, great, great music. And what again, we've talked collaboration with, uh, with yeah. Ryan earlier on. Great to see that, that colla obviously that collaborative um, group of people bringing together to bring these, these uh, songs to life as well. So. Uh, fantastic and, and congratulations to everybody who's involved in all that I know you've got a lot a big support work uh, big support network behind you as well um, a lot of people so, to thank 
Well, the, the, heavens, the heavens are opening up here. It's an amazing storm that's God is talking. Johannesburg out there. Uh, David, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you. And uh, we wish you all the very best. And uh, Thank you, David. Yeah, I mean, goodness mm -hmm. me, hopefully you can... Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't wish to underplay this, but if you can continue to mine and dis rediscover amazing music like that, then uh, what a wonderful future we have ahead of us. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, both of you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Pleasure. Take care. You have a good evening. Good okay. night. Bye. Cheers, cheers. Wow, that was powerful. There's, there's, there's so much of that story that we didn't even get a chance to touch on. Um, you know, it's, it is an incredible, uh, incredible story. So that's David, David Naylor. Um, yeah. Wonderful music. Do check out the YouTube uh, channel. I'm sure that will come out uh, publicly very soon. That is that is an unlisted yes. uh, video at the moment. That was a, that was a world premiere. We just had. We will show. share it. The moment has gone live, and we'll share it on all social medias. Um, yeah, and and take a listen to the man's story. It's an incredible story, and um, yeah. Thank you for sharing that with us again, David. We very, very much appreciate it. Yeah, and that's our show, Martin. Yeah. As, as the heavens open. Oh, it's just so grateful to have, just to know, as we've said many times, what amazing people there are in the world. Yes. And then if we wanted to narrow that down just a little bit more, what amazing people there are in the music world. And, uh, you know, I, I, you know I, I suppose we could say here, the world seems pretty crazy at times, and uh, in the UK particularly at the moment. Especially at the moment. Like it's, it's mad and nuts. And yet, put all that to one side and just, uh, I don't know, if you've shared an hour with us tonight, maybe that's a point where you kind of go, actually, maybe it's not that bad. Oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we hear every Monday doing the same thing, telling us, sharing the music. And at the end of the day, you know, for us, and that's, I suppose, why we keep doing the show, is that it, it's all about the music. And yep. music is life. And music is a great way of bringing people together and sharing, and sharing moments, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I love doing that, and I love well, sharing we, that with you guys to, around the world. We get to share incredible we, share, we get to share incredible music. We get to share incredible conversations every single yep. week on this uh, yep. show as well. So, uh, once again, thank you to all the musicians, artists, performers, songwriters, and people in general who share themselves with the world through communicating in this form. And we're going to play out with a goodie tonight, aren't we, Martin? Are we, going to do, oh, are we going to do that one? And next week we'll be live with Blood Honey. You're looking forward to that. Next week we'll be live with Blood Honey for the Halloween special here on Discover TV. But in the meantime, Artistic. in the meantime, we're going to play out with one of my favorite bands um, of, of our new music, Monday's um, illustrious career. <laughs> yeah. Band and I've grown and, to and love very, very much. Once again, picked up by uh, Mr. Simon the Bond. has been playing this already. Of course, Simon on has his, on his show. He's a fan, as He's are fan, we. Just of like no us. prism. Uh, testing my technical abilities to the to the uh, extreme here, obviously, because I don't normally play these out from my end. So hopefully this will work. You're just going to have to play it, it Martin. Here you go. Play. This is no prism. <laughs> <laughs>